like my heart rate is up right now. <gasps> You're excited to start game. I'm I, so thrilled. My Fitbit thinks I'm working out. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the stress of D and D. The nerds work out. <laughs> yeah, it kind of. So, I messed everything up. I'm getting away from the cameras. So, this is Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh. <laughs> dun dun. So today we're going to play a one-shot inspired by the first edition, which means the monsters in the area are most commonly, but very not limited to, giants and dragons as the biggest problems around. So many types of them, well, let's not worry about the details, but there's a lot of types of both. Below that are goblins, kobolds, your basic menagerie of monsters. There are some undead, but it's not a huge problem around here. If you run into undead, it is a really big problem. They just hide well. Um, there's drow, which are the boogeymen of society. We're not going to be dealing with them today. Thank God. They're scary. Other than that, it's D&D. Let's play ball. I couldn't say that with a straight face. So you all start out at Shady Dragon Inn. I have none of my notes, so I'm very well prepared. What They're all over here. Notes? They're all over here. Oh, okay. It's like you spent most of the night getting your notes. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Shady Dragon Inn. Do we know each other? Give me a second Shady for Dragon exposition. I am the dungeon master here. I'll take the one before. <laughs> I love that our hostess only hears that and nothing else. So I have a map, which will not happen for every scenario. Because this is a lot of work, and this is actually a first ed map. So, kudos to them. Thank you, TSR. And TSR is the company that published D&D. Originally. Originally. Oh. Jay, you're all over the map! <laughs> Literally. Wait a minute, you cheater. So. I'll move my drink, because I'm in the way. This is Shady Dragon Inn. Terribly put together, terribly printed, good enough. Each square in D&D is usually five feet. It's normally printed at one inch square, so that way you can have a one inch miniature. And then you have things like that. I don't have minis, so we're gonna deal with this. So, starting out, let's choose dice. I have many colors. Most of them match the box color. Except this one, which is a few bags. So this is cloth bags. Okay. But the closest I have is this one for blue. I'll go with green then. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. So I've got purple, blue, like pretty blue, reddish orange, and then yellow. I already have my dice. I like yellow. Well, in that case, I'll keep you. Good choice. I personally like the purple. So anyways, so you're in Shady Dragon Inn. You've been here before. It is a large inn, which is usually host to an adventurer's guild. So there's a lot of people here doing a lot of different missions. Normally there's about 70 people roughly at all times in here, unless it's like the slow season. But there are rooms upstairs. The second floor map is over here. It has six rooms. You know from experience when the rooms are full up, Sam Smallhole, the owner, canon name, don't make fun of it. <laughs> Sam Smallhole will host anybody and you can sleep in the tavern room for cheaper if there are no beds available. He does his best not to turn anybody away. He's got a few helpers, not a big deal. Um, if we want to get into that, we can. You guys are currently at a table. You know each other. You've worked together. And I have my notes. Quickly running out of memorized material. So, you guys did get a note that the barkeep, Sam, who owns the place, does have a job for you. You can either talk to him or talk amongst yourselves, get to know each other. First of all, let's start with what you guys see across the table. Starting with the monk. Name and a two or three sentence description, if you could. Dirk Calhoun. 
sitting across the table from you. He's 5'10", tone built, brown hair, brown eyed, monk guy. He's wearing what looks like rags and shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, thank you, Dirk. <laughs> what do we got here? Jay. <laughs> Good answer. We're skipping to you. Was one Zapata a temple that kicked me out for being unruly? <laughs> <laughs> your accent's gonna be all over the place. <laughs> we'll see <laughs> what happens. I'm a monk, but I could have been a fighter. Jay, <laughs> 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 get, get your shit together. Come we got Vindy. Tell him what you look like. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, this can only go well. <laughs> I'm Fendi. I have been so brief over the course, and I have red hair and green eyes and such. How tall are you, Fendi? I'm. Well, I don't know how big halflings are. Half, Half the size, size of human. I so am three feet. Three feet, like I said before. <laughs> 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 So if 5'10 is average male height, then 2'11, so basically 3 feet, is standard for halflings. Hence they're exactly half. Okay. So, it's short. What about you, Missy? So, I'm a miss. I am a fighter and a halfling. And two and a half feet, so shorter than Finney. <laughs> I mean, it's only seemed to miss. And just filled with piss and vinegar. <laughs> because I am short. I feel a need to prove myself. I yeah. promise. That's all I want. What's your job description? I, did I have a job description? Am I a body owner? I'm a body owner. You're a fight? Well, body fire. Body. Yeah. yeah. That works. Body owner. Thing. Nice me. Cool. Cool. What about you, Bard? <laughs> Bard's trying to figure out what half elf height range tends to be. It's about 5'9 average. It can be up to about 6'2 instead of the humans, which are 6'4, if I'm not mistaken. Ironically, Bardic half elves are what I played for years. <laughs> <laughs> I gave him a name. Pretty sure I did. What is in a name? Kinga. Kenga has dark brown skin and uh, no beard, tight curly hair. I imagine you're cool. Thin, small. <laughs> Wearing a ripper <rip> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Finesse. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, you guys have done jobs together. Usually it's small stuff. Your last quest was probably something like helping the crazy cat lady because the rats in her basement are eating her cats. Um, <laughs> small jobs. You're level three, you're not anything crazy or legendary yet. Is that a dig? It's not a dig. But if you want it to be a dig, it can be offensive. It's, if I'm not mistaken, an actual um, mission you go on in uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online. Oh, that's awesome. I was just going with the really? classic, and then... It's not a cat lady, oh. no, it's the, <laughs> the bar owner. Mm -hmm. Go get the rats out of my uh, bar. It's so always the rats out of the basement. It's, it's not a small. It's, it's small. Oh, okay. it, I have little person. Oh, you're doing the Hobbit thing, okay. <laughs> the little people thing. <laughs> I'm offended for me, Fendi. <laughs> Fendi's offended. <laughs> I'm she has an affinity for being offended. Finally. Anyways. Go on. <laughs> Thanks. Glad my humor's appreciated. 
Um, there is a, I think it's an Oster. There's an Ostler, which is a guy who deals with the horses and stables. He's here, so you would have enough to have about two horses between you if you so chose. Otherwise, you can rent them. Just a thing because you'll need to know for travel soon. So, you two are, you three are together at the table eating. Oh. I'm singing. I'm oh. Sit, singing for my meal. Oh, okay. Yeah. We didn't feed him? Your character's name was Kanga? Kanga. What do you mean, so didn't feed him? We made him sing? We didn't just offer him a meal because he's a good friend? Are you gonna pay for him? Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm a conservative uh, copper to pay for my room. <laughs> you can play for tips. So, what would you guys like to do? Apparently, insulting the GMs on the list, you can check that off. You can add it a few more times. Check. <laughs> I think it's just uh, you put a coin in every time you insult, and the money goes back into our pockets. Uh, oh, so what would you like to do? Would any of you like a drink? Yes. How much of the yeah. drinks? Why he yes. Off? Singing is thirsty work. So, I have wine. You can either get it by the glass or the bottle. I also have ales and beers. And if you want a good meal, we have those as well. <clears throat> so, we'll start with the one with the empty glass. I'll, I'll take a virgin apple cider. Excellent. <laughs> I'm glad you specified because ciders are standard alcoholic. <laughs> they actually were historically. There was no such thing as apple juice. It spoiled too quickly. And by spoiling, I mean it started fermenting because they stored it in the beer kegs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyways. And then somebody decided, why are we trying to stop this? <laughs> yeah. Just so, water. three copper. In real life, would you like a drink? Yes. I oh. don't know what. Give me something random. Okay. Do, do, that, do that thing that you do. <laughs> do the thing you do, GM. <laughs> okay, you get one ice cube. <laughs> Thank you. It's defective, it broke. I'm moving my dice away from this. I don't want to do that. So, oh, it was a wood dice, I'm afraid. This series urge just be like, oh, hi, Tender. <laughs> you can do you do, Tender? You can. I'm fine with that. So, we are playing a game, so I'm going to pour a little light. Despite my normal tendencies. If we do happen to play Kobolds Ate My Baby, what? I fucking love that game. It's a beer and pretzel role-playing game. That is actually a drinking role-play game. Mm -hmm. And I love it. Never. By the way, Gary Gygax actually played it. He owned a copy, and it was auctioned off in his um, auction after he died. Cool little fact. He endorsed the game. It made fun of his own. Good times. I didn't know that was. Gary Gygax invented D&D &D in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I live there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a Gary Gygax museum there. What, what about you? What's up, Monk? Uh, You're either a monk or a friar. What's uh, what the prices? I just said the prices. Go with the cider. Yeah, Go three copper. The... What? Three copper. Three copper? It's sure. the same it was last week. <laughs> I'll hand over three copper. Uh, if you got any uh, new jobs, we're looking for them. Know any of any good ones? Yeah, I actually was telling the bard. He must have slipped his ears. Um, eh? That <laughs> is great. Anyways. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah, I remember. So, up in the mountains, we got a kobold layer. Apparently, your accent's contagious, but that's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> What about it? 
It's okay. I'm Sam Smallhole. You got a problem? Let's fight about it. <laughs> there's money in it, maybe. Oh, there's money in it. Oh. So, we got a job for basically raiding a kobold den because they're making some problems. Right now, they got a leather horde going. The issue isn't the leather horde. The issue is the leather hordes from the hill giants. So they're angry in the giants and making them all pissy, which that's a problem for the caravan. So, simple job, go kill some kobolds. Hi. What's the payout? You got a bounty poster or a... Hello. Hi. I am the poster. <laughs> I am Fantastic. posting the job to you. Wonderful. What's the payout? <laughs> Payouts a horse and leather. Great. We'll give you two of the skins. Should be worth quite a bit. You look like someone who could appreciate leather. You two wear armor, so you're on your own. Appreciate someone who knows fine threads. Dirk Calhoun. Monk guy. He's wearing rags and shit. <laughs> I see why you keep him around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they sometimes call me punchy, but it ain't because I hit people. <laughs> Why do they call you punchy? Because I'm always right there with the one-two jokes. Because he's the punchline. Because I need a drink. Hey. I need a drink with a punch. <laughs> what the matter with you? <laughs> so, Sam. Mm hmm. Is this the sort of job where we need to keep track of kobolds or a string of ears? It's a newer den, that or they're just getting ornery, so just take them out. Okay. And if you take out everyone in the kobold den, usually they don't come back. At least not for a while. I spent my whole life helping old ladies with their crap problem. That's the kobold. <laughs> ah, kobolds are little lizard people. They're basically goblins with snouts and scales. They're dumb and they kind of bark, so if you know Draconic, good for you. It's gonna be this weird, like, yippy dialect, so... It kind of makes sense, kind of doesn't. It's kind of like talking to a Portuguese guy in Spanish. It sometimes works, sometimes doesn't. You're gonna get in a bar fight either way. <laughs> See. <laughs> Some, it sounds kind of cute. Some people try. They kind of have an intellect about them. Do they eat rats? They also eat people. They're dumb and they cook things. <laughs> they also steal things. They also make traps. Look out for their traps. You guys got a rogue thief? A vagabond? Cut purse? No? Good talk. <laughs> Look out for tripwires. <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to get, um, how to give him the uh, trap finding ability. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, on the bright side, the first ed spell list that I gave the cleric has a spell called Find Traps. <clears throat> I was actually very pleased that's in the wrong place, because in D&D &D that's moved up to level 3 or something like that, level 2 I think. Mm-hmm. We'll be relying on you, Findy. I got this. Findy's gonna find the traps. I'm a great Findy. Right, he is Stop. pretty friendly. Stop. You need a drink, or are you just drinking for half there? <laughs> what are you trying to say, Sam? <laughs> I'm saying that glass is as short as you. <laughs> Right, I'm pretty sure Dirk over there probably shouldn't be drinking anyway, and I'm just gonna, you know, appeal to his charitable senses to share with the little short stack over here. It's a good call. Mm. You know that comes in pints. <laughs> <laughs> Does it come in hot pints? <laughs> <laughs> Well played. <laughs> You're more than welcome to try. <laughs> what excellent is this? He's not an old-timey western guy. I do declare. 
<laughs> hey, I'm Christopher Walken here. I want to suck your blood. <laughs> I've been all over. I've got a little bit of everything. <laughs> it was a very diverse monastery that I'm trained at. <laughs> there was a guy who, yeah. kept, who just kept ringing the, the cowbell. It was off put. <laughs> he said, we gotta cure the fever. <laughs> and his only prescription is more cowbell. <laughs> He was an odd fella. <laughs> the plague did go away. <laughs> and he did walk in everywhere he went. <laughs> so how how far away are these mountains? Does anyone know? It's <laughs> <laughs> a simple question. We have about a day and a half's travel up the main road. Great! Does anyone have some trail rations? Towels. No, I'm kind of burping. I can't. No, I'm asking for uh, for paper towels. Uh, you used to dry your eyes. Uh, <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, that's a great start. <laughs>